Hello Capricorn, how are you going? This is your monthly read for November. I got that wrong a couple of times for other people because, um, you know, I think I blinked and October disappeared. I've lost it somewhere and I still can't find it. Anywho, this is your general read. Just remember that energy is fluid. So some parts might resonate, other parts might not. If you get a message from this, it's obviously meant, from, meant for you. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Okay, let's see what's happening for Caps this month. At the bottom of the deck, we've got Modify. Can you see that? Can you see that? New tricks. Modify. So what are we trying to modify this month? Um, our choices. And self-love. Now that is a reading all perfect just in itself. Perfect. We're modifying our choices to love ourselves and to put ourselves equal to others. We need time to care about ourselves. Now, if you think about think about how you care about other people. You know, friends, family, all of those. You don't, you know, if if say say it's your children, you don't love one more than the other. Okay? But you give your time and attention to the one who needs it the most at the time. So if one child, you know, has an accident and gets a broken arm and the other one is doing just fine, the broken arm child will get the attention. And the same is with self-love. If you treat yourself as valuable as everybody else, then if you need more time and attention, that's not selfish. It's not greedy. Um, it's not inconsiderate. It's just the way it is. And then if you're feeling really good, you've got more time to give to other people. It's not, it's, it's just a balancing act. So, this month, modify your choices, modify how you balance your worth and other people's worth and who needs what. Okay? Okay. Now, as usual, I'll lay these out and then we'll get into it. So at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Wands. Looking at how we're going to start a new way of acting, a new way of um being passionate about our inner worth and we have five of cups yeah queen of wands ten of cups king of wands five of wands four of cups the star ten of swords Two of Wands and Three of Cups. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just reiterates what we've been talking about. So recently you've been having a bit of internal back and forth about which way to go. Um, you know, is it selfish? Is it not? Do I deserve it? Do Will other people think I'm being self-centered if I give myself some time and attention. Um, so that's what's kind of been going on a little bit for you. In the center, we've got the Five of Cups, and this talks about um, grief. Grief doesn't just have to be the loss of someone. It can be the loss of self. It can be the loss of um, even something unhealthy. Even something that wasn't good for you, that you know you need to let go of, once you let go of it, you can still grieve it. So grieving the, the 
maybe the loss of looking after yourself, maybe realising that all this time you've been putting yourself last, you can grieve the time you've lost caring about yourself. The The challenge here is to, it's in this situation, it's not actually a block, it's a challenge. And this is to see your own worth and, and come out in your own strength. You know, really step into who am I, how am I going to transform and how am I going to let that light shine and grow and let um, not just everyone around me see it but let it come from inside out. How am I going to do that? At the foundation is the king of wands. Now you've got the king and the queen of wands. This is a power couple. So this is a real... If it's not you and another person, I think in this situation it's a real balancing of masculine and feminine energies, doing and feeling, thinking and feeling, um, helping others and being strong enough to help yourself. It's this real mixed energy of action, inspiration um, and passion. M real movement coming up you've got the four of cups and this talks about you know it can be a little bit of boredom or despondency or nothing really changing only seeing what's been the same over and over and over again and what you're not seeing is the opportunity you're not seeing the that something is available to you that you aren't aware of yet because you're still only looking at the things you know, the systems you are aware of, the, the ways you've been behaving, um, thoughts, beliefs, ideas, values, all these things that you already know. Currently, you're assuming that that's all there is. So this is the month to really modify your choices of what you believe. That means taking time out to look around, you know, look around, ask other people, research your ass off, do whatever it takes to find a new way of healing. And this is the star. One of the main ways to heal is to decide what you want. If you can't decide what you want, decide what you don't want anymore and almost flip it on its head. Do you want to give all your time to everybody else? No. I don't want to do that anymore. So what's the alternative option? Well, I can give all my time to myself. Don't really want to do that. How about give half and half or a nice balance of, you know, needs, where needs must kind of energy. Okay, don't know how to do that. Do I want to stay ignorant? No, I don't want to stay ignorant. Do I want to find a new way of doing it? Absolutely, I want to find a new way of doing it. So if you don't know what you want to do, start with what you don't want. Start with what you want to let go of and then look at how you can find another way to do it or a different option. That's the easiest way to find out which way you want to go, put it out there, make your wish um, and then focus on healing because the environment is going to support you in doing this. This is the Ten of Swords. This is the ending of all the outdated thoughts and beliefs, all the pain you've carried from the past. This is the end of the cycle and it's a perfect time to do it while you're doing all of this. Absolutely perfect. Then you're going to be given the opportunity to decide where you want to go from now. This works very well with the Four of Cups. You know, you've coming up you've got this um i don't want this anymore i'm going to turn around and look for other options once you've found the other options that work for you then you decide then you put your plan in place and you focus on moving forward with that um, and the outcome will be the three of cups this is a real celebration this is real you know shits and giggles kind of um it's almost like New Year's Eve. Thank God that's over now. Woohoo! Look at what we've got to look forward to. It's it, it's that kind of energy. 
And so this whole mixing of the mind kind of overthinking things or being despondent with what you've got um, or, or grieving what you've lost or what you've never had, it's this real energy of, okay, I can't change this. I want to look after myself better. How can I do that? What do I want? What don't I want? And, and which direction will move me in the way that I want to go most, lead me in the direction of where I want to go most or who I want to be most. So that's a, you know, it's a really good month to do this because you're coming up to the end of the year. So if you do this now, you can really celebrate at the end of the year once you've done it. All right, my loves, I hope this helps. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.